In this tutorial, I will show you how we can use Unity's new water system. Click on new project. Scroll down until you see the 3D HDRP. But before, you must have the preview version installed. 2023.2.0.18 or above. This LTS version still doesn't have fully all the water features. So to get them all you must install the preview version. Then click on new project and select 3D HDRP. Just don't forget to make, keep it on the preview version and now you can select 3D HDRP and click create. Now my one is already ready so I'm just going to launch it. First let's go into the package manager and install the samples. Find the HD render pipeline. High definition render pipeline. In the samples tab, you can see water samples. Let's import them. These samples are provided by Unity. Let me just close the tab. Select the island scene to open it. The HDRP asset setting helper has shown a lot of things to do to enable water. So we will enable water first. You can see water is rendering now. We need to enable the deformation and the foam. We also need the stripped interactions and water exclusion. That's it for the water tab. Let's go under decals and enable decal layers. Inside the lighting reflections we need to enable screen space reflection and enable it on transparent. It says to enable volumetric clouds, so inside volumetrics just enable volumetric clouds. And now we are ready to go back to our original scene. Just let's have a quick check on the HDRP global settings. In the frame settings, inside rendering, make sure you have water checked, otherwise water will not um, show inside the scene. Inside lighting, you must have screen space reflections enabled on transparent. 